that is the mana. So we're making our first mana already. This is the diluted mana pool. We're gonna need to make, I don't have enough living rock yet, so let's get my pick out and get ready to make a second one. And the mana in that diluted mana pool is going to be used to make a real mana pool. Uh, we gotta move on up like that right away. So we'll get this going for that. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm quite ready for that yet. Uh, let me see, we can actually make the next diluted mana pool right now. And we have enough for another, so let's go ahead and just go do that, because we'll need more. And then if we hang out over it, oh yeah, it's got a green check mark. So we can throw that in. And now, that is a real mana pool. I'm a real mana pool. Oh, and we can do the next one. Excellent. So then we can just break this one. We're going to lose a little mana, but not a whole lot yet. Put down the real mana pool, because it holds a whole bunch more than this one does. Uh, so we'll turn this one into a mana pool as well. And I wonder, is this setting sending to that? It is, I think. Accepting mana from items. Looks like this is sending to it. The mana spreader. It's collecting a little bit. Oh, you know what? It's nighttime. So what do we got on here? Just me and Aaron. Uh, let me sleep. And we'll get the mana generation going again. And then the next thing we'll do is we're going to solve that problem so that mana keeps generating at night as well. So we've got the, the uh, day blooms. I'll get all these names straight. Uh, soon enough and then we also have the night shades so this is the nighttime counterpart to the day blooms so we can generate mana at night as well so we're going to need two black petals a gray and a purple so we got those put uh, aside over here so let me see we can only do 26 gray petals and it's going to need two blacks for that so let's grab uh, I guess 26 of the black petals, is that right? Yeah, I think, oops, let me just do that. 26 of these, 13 of these, and 13 of these. And we'll see if I got that at all correct. So we're gonna get 52 of those, 26 of those, and hopefully I got the right colors this time. And let's see if that works for making nightshades. So let's get all that stuff down here again. We need the seeds. We need the two blacks, the purple and the gray. So two blacks, one purple, one gray, and some seeds. Bam! We've got our nightshade. So just like I did before, let's get this up here and grab my bucket. I'm gonna do that and I will come back and we'll set these up. Zap. <laughs> See you soon. Okay, we're on our last one and I just realized I had my ring of magnetization on for that whole thing. So they go in there even a little better right now. So let me see, we ended up with 26 nightshades and Aaron was just here for a visit and he told me this thing has a diameter of about 10 so it should be fine, hopefully, if we put the nightshades here. And actually, as a matter of fact, I may be able to do this. I don't think that messes up the day blooms. Uh, we'll find out real quick, won't we? So let's try that and we'll have a little grid of light and dark. So let's see how this goes. And we'll use up uh, all of these. He said that uh, these are even worse at generation than the day blooms. Why won't that go there? Oh, that must be my painted glowstone. Let's see. Yep, <laughs> that's not grass. That's glowstone. So we'll just have to skip that spot and keep putting these around. I got six more. It's got to be symmetrical, man. Uh, but it probably won't be. Let's see, move that. And there, two more. 
Let me see, where does it need to go? I think we need them, maybe. Uh, let's just put them here and here. So, hey, it's nighttime. Or just about to be, so that's perfect. We're about to see if this works. So now, apparently, if I look at a flower, uh, the, the mana spreader will get a bounding box if the flower is connected to it. So that looks all good. Everybody looks connected. And the nightshades, let's click on them. It's nighttime, I think. So, and these are empty. They're not generating now. And how's the mana pool doing? Click on it. Doesn't have a ton yet. And one of the things we, reasons why we need to get this all set up now is because it needs time to keep generating. Uh, but we do have some generation going on here, night and day. I think our daytime is going to be definitely much stronger, but at least if I'm not bothering to shift from day to night, we'll get some power generation either way. How are you guys doing? Staying empty. So either you're not working at all, or you're managing to give your stuff to the mana spreader. And the mana spreader is going up a little bit. So that's good. I think this configuration will be all right. We'll know in the daytime. Let's make it day. Actually, it's going to be a little harder now. we got more people on here. So I'll just let it be and accept that stuff's happening. Uh, let's get our last diluted mana pool. And it's good to go. We'll turn that into a real mana pool as well. So next, what we need to do uh, with our focus on mana generation today is make a third kind of generating flower. We're going to make this one called an endo flame. And we've got uh, two browns, two reds, and two gray petals each. Was that gray or light gray? Light gray. Light gray is some of the hardest ones to find, man. This looks almost like grass out in the world. So I spent quite a while uh, locating those, but soon enough we're going to have uh, flowers that make flowers. So we need two of these for every one of these. So the most we're going to be able to make is 34, right? Uh, and we'll need 17 of these, which will be mean we'll need nine of them, I think. Uh, that's close enough. So then we can leave two of those behind. And uh, hopefully I'm not burning through my flowers too quick, but I figure why mess around with this stuff? Let's make it. And actually, I don't know if I want to make that many. I guess I'll get a lot of mana really quick that way. Uh, let's start with half that. Let's say, let's do, let's do that. And then, so we'll need uh, 16 of those and then we'll need 16 of these. So I'll put eight of them in here and we'll start with that. Yeah, so let me put some of that stuff back. Those and those and half of those sort of. And then, so now we're good with our ratio, but some of these need to be mana petals. And to be mana petals, that means we gotta throw them in here and we can throw one and we get it back as a mana petal. And can I, I wonder if I can throw them all. See what happens if I do that. Woo! There they go. I need one more, right? Didn't I have eight there? Did I lose one? I guess I did. I guess that's the danger of throwing them all in. We have a spare of that. Unless I got my numbers wrong. I don't think I did. So let's just throw one of these in. Okay, so we got eight regular or mystical, which is not regular, <laughs> eight mana. And I guess I'll just throw these in one at a time. It doesn't seem to take a ton. Oh, I bet that's where it went. It went into that guy. Okay, now we know. So, yep. Good night, Brink. Oh, I don't have enough in there. All right, <laughs> give me a second. I'll go get my uh, brown petals back and we'll recharge a little bit more mana. And I'll finish making those mana petals. All right, finally got enough mana to make all those mana petals. And I think I get everything I need in my hot bar here. So let's try it. Let's do a mystical brown, a mana brown, a mystical or a mana red and a mystical red and a mystical light gray and a seed. Woo. And we have our first 
Endoflame. Squirting lag. Okay, whatever that means. Uh, let's, and I'm just going to keep going here and make seven more. We're going to start with eight. I think should be a good number. Uh, and we'll see how that goes. And we can always make more as we go along. So see you in a bit. Okay, here goes the last one. And inventory tweaks is helping me out, sort of. <laughs> okay, so we should have eight of those. Get rid of my bucket. Now what we're going to do with these is we're going to try to set up a way to feed them. And I think I want to feed them with planks. <laughs> you can feed them charcoal. You can feed them anything, really. And the more energy the thing has, the longer it will take. Um, but what I'm thinking is I have almost 600,000 fir wood planks now, a lot more than I have of coal or charcoal, and I'm not turning my wood into charcoal for a while. I may move to charcoal once I make those um, unbreakable axes, uh, lumber axes, but with the auto smelting, but I haven't done that yet. So let's just grab some fir planks to start with. If it still works out the same amount of generation per time, then it should be fine in the long run. Uh, so I have an idea of how I want to set this up, but let me just introduce you first to the endo flame. I moved that stuff over because I wanted to set it up here. I need to get away from that vacuum chest so things don't get sucked up. So I'm going to put them, I think, let's put them in a circle, maybe right here of all eight of them and then let's give them some planks so if i throw these down supposedly they suck them up uh, in a two or three block radius but for some reason that's not sucking them at all up at all huh i wonder maybe it doesn't recognize fir wood planks which would be a big bummer for me right now because uh, I have so many of them. Um, but there's other things I have a lot of, like blaze rods. Blaze rods have to give a good return, and I have 142,000 of those. So let's put those back and grab some of these and see how that works out. All right, will you eat these? <laughs> Whoa, what finicky little flowers we have here. Hmm. They won't eat that. What about oak? Do they eat oak? So let's try. Pick that up. Let's try an oak wood plank. Do they only eat in the daytime or something? What's going on here? Super mobs. I haven't met too many of the ender zoo crit crit critters yet. Huh. All right, let me try coal and charcoal before I call in the troops and ask questions in chat. So we got some coal, we got some charcoal. Is that what they have to eat? I swear I saw Direwolf feeding his planks. Are they too close together, maybe? Okay, we tried that already. Let's try. Come on, pick you up. Try. All right, I got some problem happening here. Let's try. Uh, let's try. I like how you get that little rose sometimes when you break them. Maybe they don't like being next to each other. Huh. Nothing ever works like it's supposed to. All right, let's do a little research on endo flames. Go back here. Let's see. End of flame does exactly that. Absorb any combustible items or blocks dropped in the nearby vicinity and burn through them passively to generate mana while the fuel lasts. Okay. So there it is. There's the end of flame. Here's the combustible fuel. Hmm. Maybe I'm not giving it long enough. 
I'm not sure. I'm going to try to get to the bottom of this so we don't waste all the time in the video. And I will get back when I figured out what's going wrong. All right, I figured it out. They wouldn't do it until they were actually hooked up to a spreader. And now they seem to be working just fine. Uh, I actually didn't test the firwood planks, but I'm sure that'll work again. So let me get back real quick uh, to the idea I had in mind to make these work. So let's go back to putting our eight of them right here. And I want to make a thing from Batania called an open crate that I think was made just for this purpose. Actually, let me uh, get those back and let's make some planks first. So you can make living wood planks like that. You get four for every uh, one. And it was like either like that. Yep, it's like that. And this is like a dropper. Uh, but more precise, which we're going to need for this. So we're going to want to set it up so that we're automatically feeding them with items, but not too much. And you could put it on a timer, um, and that would, you know, once you time how long it takes them to eat stuff. But this hopefully will be even more precise than that. And then we're going to need to get, let me see, let me use, oh, let me just use the the stone. We're going to need to get the open crate right over here. So let me see. Does it this always point down? Uh, looks like it might be. Let's put something in it. Can we click on it? I think we need to feed it with a hopper or something. So let's grab hopper real quick. I just changed the time. I mean, I just checked the time and I'm already over time on this episode in my usual style. I don't know how I do it. Uh, so reliably, but I do, I guess I'm just going to need to learn how to talk faster anyway. Uh, oh yeah. Let's grab some fir wood planks where we'll, we're at it and see if those work for this. I guess I could just as well use the blaze rods, but let me see. Let's feed this with a hopper and see if it drops stuff. So let's give it these. And is that going to work? Maybe not. It's losing the items, but it doesn't seem to be dropping them. I wonder if I got this thing placed incorrectly. Uh, let me see. Let me let me mess around with this for a second, and I'll be right back. Okay, I think I got it right. This does have a bottom, this big dark part I didn't see before. And so if I throw some stuff in here, I like those. It seems to drop them just fine. And if these things can eat them, they pick them up. So I'm going to attach this to a redstone signal and change this out with some redstone conduit. So let's see if I can pull that off real quick and then that will be that for today. So we want to get, I've got the redstone conduit cause it can just go straight up in the air. These apparently will stop working if they get a redstone signal. Hopefully that signal will get conveyed to it. Uh, we will find out real quick. So there's that and let me see, one, two from that hole or one, two, three from that skylight. We should be good. So let's go down here and connect up. I lost my bearings over here. Okay, so if we bring this out, let me see, I'll just fly. Get that there. And then I was hoping I could put uh, some of this red alloy wire underneath here. I have no idea if that signal will connect or not. Let me see. Let me actually grab a lever real quick. We'll see if that connects before we go back up. All right. So if I put you here, I think that got pinker, did it? Yes, it does. That connects. So that should work for what we need to do. And let me go back up there and see if that connects to the open crate. All right, so let's throw some stuff in here. And 
that is not connecting to that. So let me figure that out real quick. Figured out my problem is that that signal is actually not making it through the floor. Oh, <laughs> that's why, because <laughs> the floor is too thick. Silly me. Okay, hopefully that will work. Uh, so let's check that out. Let's pick all this stuff up. And then now, okay, signal's off. Let's throw, wow, they ate all those planks up already. Let's give them some blaze rods. And that works. That got a signal. That's stopping. Uh, as this stuff disappears, it should drop more. So that's cool. It's not very pretty. Uh, I can probably put a facade right there. Uh, but in general, we've got a self-feeding system going on here that's going to generate a whole bunch of mana right here. I'm just going to have hook up some ender chest or something uh, with an with a export bus downstairs that will feed this continuously with whatever. But I don't think it takes these guys more than a minute to eat, so nothing will sit there long enough to despawn because uh, it's got five minutes to sit there. And it seems like it's only dropping two, of, two at a time, and we got eight endo flames. So there we go. We've got some basic mana generation going on. This thing is busy sending mana beams over here. Let's just click on here real quick. Yep. And this is building up slowly, I think. This has a lot of mana in it. And it's having a hard time sending it over here fast enough. So I may need to work on that next. Uh, th this is generating mana faster than this can this can give it over here. All right. <laughs> well, I'll work on that in between. Uh, for now, I got to sign off. So this is Monkey Puzzle. I hope you enjoyed my first foray into Batania. And now that we got this set up, we're going to be able to have enough mana by next episode to make all kinds of cool stuff. So that will be even better. All right, y'all. Monkey Puzzle. Signing out for real. Bye-bye.